fuck I'm bored. God, I hope it was that Thunderbird's porno spoof I ordered. What the fuck is this? Oh, ploppers! I should destroy this! Save future generations years of pain, suffering and torment! Or oh, I could just show it on YouTube. I am such a little shit. That's why people, rips into his back. Get your 3D specs ready, because it's Doc 2's 30th anniversary. Roll the credits! Actually, um, let's not use that music anymore. I'm so scared Filmation's gonna sue me. This? You've not heard of Dimensions in Time? Well, let me fill your brains with dark, dangerous knowledge. The year is 1993, and everyone's favourite low-budget sci-fi show was reaching its 30th birthday. Naturally, you'd think the BBC would throw everything they had to celebrate this momentous occasion for one of their landmark shows. There's just a slight problem. Doctor Who was cancelled three years prior. Several ideas were thrown about until finally a multi-doctor story was commissioned to time with that year's children in need. So all the living doctors working together for charity? How could this possibly go wrong? So before we start, I should really explain what this episode sort of slots in. It didn't feature as part of the main children in the telephone, as the Five Doctors did, but as a section of the popular TV show, Noel's House Party. It's the thing Noel Edmonds hosted with Mr Blobby. So we get Noel Edmonds being oh so hilarious when he gets a knock at the door. Dumb eyes, I think I need to see the Doctor. <laughs> oh, no, I'm the, uh, the Doctor in the TARDIS. Yes, uh, but I travel through space and time. I've seen you in the year 2010. Oh. You're still on television. Wait, what? Oh, am I doing serious programmes? No, I said I travel through space and time. I don't visit Fantasy Island. Did John Pertwee just predict Deal or No Deal? Ha! Ha! You're the Doctor! You're absolutely right. I heard it was thick. I thought they were talking about his waist. <laughs> We've been looking forward to seeing you in, in your new adventure, Dimensions in Time. A pair of these. Oh, I... These are the new 3D specs that oh, you've got to you wear so for this. And all the villagers from Crickley Bottom, put your specs on, please. Right, 30th anniversary. Let's do this! Pickled in time, like gherkins in a jar. So yeah, at this point, Hart and Tron had passed away. And how do they respect their memories in the show? By creepy decapitated CGI heads. Mmm, tasteless. Helpless. Paralyzed. It'll drive them insane. Mayday. Mayday. This is an- Holy Mary, mother of God, what the hell has happened to Tom Baker? He looks so depressed! Tom, I know you hate your season 18 costume, but come on, it's for charity! She hates me. She even hates children. Where even is he? Looks like he's been chucked into a Windows 98 screensaver. Oh. Oh. Time is literally of the essence. I do love the carpet in the Rani's TARDIS, though. And that's not a euphemism for a pubic hair. Interception in five seconds, Rani. Although I will miss the challenge. So the Rani shoots down the Doctor's TARDIS and forces him to land. Which Doctor is it? Oh, to be in China now that November's here. Yay! So we get some genetic, the TARDIS has flown off course dialogue, Ace fingers a sign, and then we get... Hey, you're not the Doctor. Yes, I am, Ace. We seem to have slipped a groove in time. Where'd all these people come from? Hey, Professor, look at this. Hmm, Ace seems to be taking the fact that Doctor's just randomly changed pretty well. In fact, so's the Doctor! Special discount for you, seeing it's nearly Christmas. Oh, wicked! Here, yeah, what do you mean, discounts? This year's been bad enough as it is without you giving things away. Hmm, <laughs> that's Gene from EastEnders. 
playing Gina from EastEnders. Wait. Real footage back. <laughs> That's Albert Square! That's Albert Square from EastEnders! Is this a Doctor Who EastEnders crossover? Kill me! I tell you, they're gonna be the rage in 1994! Have I been spiked? Has my drink been spiked? I can't make sense of this! What's happening? Change! You, me, everything. Excuse me, my good woman, but what year is this? Oh, 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 I know this bit. Oh, I know this bit. I see flares are back in fashion. Yeah, everything from the last century seems to be having a comeback. I just wish my looks were. Last century? Well, what year is this? Oh, it's coming. It's coming! Well, don't you start. There's enough oddballs around here as it is. Madam, what year is this? 2013! <laughs> This scene is actually pretty important because it proves 100% that Dimension in Time is not canon to the rest of the series. Because it's 2013 and Pauline Fowler died in 2006. Suck it, Dimension fans! Oh, three of you? So we get enough of time jump and this time we get Susan and Sixie. Ian! Barbara! Where are the others? Susan looking a lot younger than she did in The Five Doctors. Anyway, hopefully now we'll start getting some plot together. Oh, sorry, I forgot the story's got ADHD. I think it's right, it's a law. The law? Since when? So rather than actually explaining what's going on, they decide to do what every single bad Doctor Who story does in this situation. Throw monsters at the plot hole! Feeding time at the zoo? And the companions went in two by two. Isn't Noah's Ark, Doctor? Maybe it is. So the TARDIS team tries to escape their enemies and discover that the people around them can't see the creatures because... They're in different time zones. To them, we're the strangers. Makes sense. Apart from the fact that chap behind them is clearly looking at a Cyberman! <laughs> I'd say this is getting silly, but this has been silly since McCoy left. Doctor, where's the TARDIS? 20 years back and three miles away, come on! <laughs> Sorry, Doctor, I know it's Perry, but come on, it's a fucking kids show. You can't escape, Doctor. Say goodbye, Doctors. You're all going on a long journey. A very long journey. So in order to raise money for children, you can actually ring up and decide which EastEnders character could save the Doctor at some point in the story. Well, oh, fuck you, Big Ron, I'm getting Mandy in part two. This is gonna be awesome. So, part two, and this is where we're gonna get two major questions answered. One, which EastEnders character is gonna save the Doctor? And two, why Noel Edmonds is cosplaying Colin Baker from The Two Doctors? And it's gonna be Mandy who helps the Doctor. Yes, my life is complete! Will the evil Rani win out against the Doctor and Mandy? Or will the Doctor survive to fight another day? You decided! What's going on, Doctor? Who else could master such a difficult operation? Why bother trying to summon up your remaining selves? I've weakened you. I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve yet! What?! Okay, am I just being thick here, or does this story just not make any sense? Did Nissa and Perry just merge together to make Liz? What?! What?! what? Don't even fucking think about it! Leave this to me, I'll take my chance. What are you doing? Late for her alarm! Oh shit, it's Mandy! This one's gonna get really, really good! Was that it? Fuck! Doctor! Come on, quickly! Why is Mike there? How, how do you know about this? Bring it here! Come on, Doctor! Not far now! 
We would have got here sooner, but we went to Emmerdale Farm first by accident. I find it very difficult to keep up with all of you these days, Doctor. Some other time, eh, Brigadier? Alas, there's no time for pleasantry. I must find my young friend. We'll speak soon, old chap. To all of you, I hope. So Navani starts to set her plans into motion. Whatever those plans are, sciencey, sciencey, magical stuff. As we head back to the square. You said you locked it. I did, someone must have broken in. Oh look. <laughs> it's two on diamonds. <laughs> I'm a comedy genius. You've seen the doctor? Yeah. Doctor Leg is the only doctor around here. Doctor who? Doctor who? Doctor who? Doctor who? So, the man was captured, Frank Butcher touched himself, and we returned to the doctor and... Victoria? But I thought the companion void was filled by the mana. Did the doctor just bump into Victoria? Who was that? Holy fuck! Ah, good, there's the TARDIS. Come on, Victoria. <laughs> Ronnie's TARDIS. Oh, baby, I've missed you. Doctor! I see she let you go. Not before she cloned me, though. She's got a menagerie of clones in there. What form were you in when she cloned you? Romana. Wait, 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 wait. Leela can remember being Romana? So these time jumps are also causing the mind to be swapped between the different bodies? I hate to break it to you, j and but the companions aren't all the same person. It's stupid, it makes no sense. It'd be like me swapping between different people during this review. Yeah, you thought it was gonna happen, didn't you? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm not that predictable. Whoa, okay. Weird. Um... Okay, I'm a girl. I can roll with that. I can make that work. Got a really weird voice. Hmm, I can do it. Right then, this is my channel now. Not that twatting the fucking hat I used to be. I mean, what a tosser. So, first things first, what I'm going to do is. Being a girl was weird. Oh well, I'm sure that'll never happen again. So, as we missed the explanation, I better break it down for you. Varani has taken a catalogue of all known life in the universe in order to control evolution. Somehow. Why she needs to manipulate time too, I have no idea. Oh, I'm so confused. My brain, it's gonna overload. 30 seconds to computer achieving full power status, mistress. Excellent. Why don't you override Varani's computer and harness the power of the time tunnel to pull her TARDIS in and not me. He's going to science the science. I must try and free my other incarnations. Good luck. Okay, two things. One, where's Carl Baker doing this? Is he just being left to rot in Albert Square? And two, why the hell are they using archive footage for Tom Baker? They had Tom Baker there specifically to film new footage, and yet they still had to use old clips like they did in The Five Doctors. Is this just part of Tom Baker's contract where he has to be featured in archive footage all the time? So yeah, naturally the Doctor's plan works, the Ryan is thrown to a big space anus and the two Halloween decoration Doctor heads are saved. What did you do to her? Well, there were two time brains in her computer and I used it to propel her into the trap she set for me. So now your other selves are all free? Certainly I, I mean we are difficult to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, tell that to Michael Grade. So that was Dimensions in Time. What did I think? What the fuck do you think? It's fucking awful. Get fucked, you cunt. Actually, before I go, I know some fuck is gonna leave this in the comments, so there. There's my worst and best anniversary specials. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've gotta go relax the only way I can. With extreme violence. Well, at least this shit can't get any worse. Jesus! Well, it could have been worse. Could have teleported to the school down the road. Oh, calm down, it's only a penis.